here. Fast, but how? Run as far as you want. I will find you wherever you go. Today we're taking a look at four powerful AI tools for lip syncing. If you want to make your videos talk, these AI tools can do it effortlessly. These tools have been around for a while, but they're still among the best. Let's break down how each of them works. With these tools, you can bring real and animated videos to life with voice. Perfect for storytelling, filmmaking, content creation, and making money. Number one, Pixverse AI. Pixverse AI allows you to easily add lip sync to your AI generated videos. You can use it in videos made with Pixverse or upload videos from other tools. Just type up to 200 characters of text and choose a preset voice or create custom audio using Eleven Labs, Halo AI Audio, or other AI voice tools. You can upload up to 30 seconds of audio. Enable original audio to keep background sounds from your source video. Here's how I used it. I first created a video with Halo AI, then added wind sound effects in my video editor, and then uploaded it to Pixverse for lip sync. You can create multiple lip sync clips and edit them in AI video editors like CapCut or Premiere Pro to make longer videos. In Pixverse AI for the best results, use a single character in your source video. Pixverse AI gives you 60 free credits daily. Check out their plans. The final length depends on your audio. So if your video is six seconds, but your audio is three seconds, the result will be three seconds. AI doesn't just talk, it brings characters to life. I even use Pixverse lip sync feature to create an anime trailer. You can check out the full tutorial on my channel. Number two, Hedra. Hedra Studio allows you to add lip sync to images and turn them into videos. To use lip sync, go to the video tab. Here, you will see different models for creating video. For lip sync, make sure to select the Hedra Character 3 model. No need to adjust the aspect ratio. It will automatically set based on your image. You also have two resolution options, and the duration is based on your voice or length of the script. Now let's add an image. Click on the image frame box, and you will see three options. Generate an image. Choose a model, add a prompt, and let AI create it for you. Use your webcam. Capture an image of yourself instantly. Upload an image. This is an option I will try. Next, add audio in three ways. Generate speech. Type text, pick a speaker, and let AI create a voice. Record your voice. Speak directly into the tool. Upload AI-generated audio. Use AI voice tools, trim your audio, and even change voices. For more control, you can add prompt for emotions and gestures, or leave it free and let AI decide. Power is not given, it is taken. They watch, they whisper, but they don't dare challenge me. Once everything is set, download your video and you're done. Well, this is unexpected. You, a tiny bird, and I. You can even use Hedra to lip sync animated images like this. Number three, Kling AI. Kling AI is a powerful tool for creating images, videos, and lip sync animations. Go to the AI video section and click on the lip sync tab. Kling AI allows you to use videos created in this tool or upload videos made with other software and apply lip sync to them. The maximum video length can be 10 seconds. In this section, you will see some example videos in different styles that you can use to test the lip sync feature. For adding voice, you have two options. The first option is to write your text and select the appropriate voice from the available options. You can filter voices by type and for some voices, you can set emotion. The second option is to upload an audio file, whether it's AI generated from another tool or a recorded voice. The maximum audio length is 30 seconds. I will use this feature for my music video by uploading a part of my song. After trimming the audio, I will generate the final video. The result will look like this. Take my hand, don't look back, this is our time, feel the track. Number four, 
Runway ML. In this section, Runway allows you to first create a video and then add lip sync to it. You can start by creating an image, using a generated video, or uploading a file from your computer. I used this image and wrote a simple prompt to turn it into a video. Next, select the video duration and choose the turbo model. If you're happy with the result, click on Actions and select Lip Sync. Lip Sync works best with realistic human faces. You can try different styles, but if the results are not good, your credits will not be refunded. So, for the best results, use realistic faces. For adding voice, you have three options. Upload an audio file. Record your own voice. Write text and select a speaker from the list. Runway allows you to first create a video and then add lip sync to it. If you want to lip sync multiple characters, click lip sync video. You can upload an image or video with one or multiple character faces. When you upload an image, AI detects and identifies the character's face. To add dialogue, select the character you want to add dialogue for. Upload an audio file or click the microphone icon to select a voice and type your dialogue. Click Add Speaker to add the next dialogue. Select the next character and repeat the process. You can add up to 10 dialogues in total. I can't believe how clear the sky is today. This is perfect for an adventure. This is the moment you will remember forever. Imagine telling this story at home. No one would believe how cold it is. One important note. If you're using an image with multiple characters, when one character speaks, the others will maintain the same facial expression as in the source image. Make sure to use a suitable image if this is an issue. Performing the same test. Can you see the difference? Which one looks better? Can you see the difference? Which one looks better? Can you see the difference? Which one looks better? Can you see the difference? Which one looks better? A toast to wild nights and unforgettable stories. 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 Compare the results of these tools and choose the one that best fits your project. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.